Hey, happy Monday and welcome to Rimotive Live. Um, didn't really plan on doing a live stream today, but I've got a different kind of internet setup out here and I've had some issues in the past. So I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a live stream today because I have something to talk about. Of course, that is buying the new, the redesigned right now, 2024 Toyota Tacoma in 2025. Uh, as a new 2025, um, or maybe even something else. But first, I need to know from you guys, how is the live stream? Anybody that kicks on, I guess. We have only three people on at the moment. But I'd like to know, how is the live stream? I got to click my, uh, oops, I missed my opportunity. Did you know if you don't click the skip ad thing on, which you never should do, by the way. But if you don't click the skip ad thing uh, when they kick the ads in, it'll automatically start to play the other one after like five seconds or something or a few seconds. Um, so anyway, I've done that. Looks to me like everything is good. I can't tell about volume because I can't hear. Daryl says, good morning. Daryl says, look good. Looks good. Thank you. Mario Santiago. Hi, Rob. Hey, Mario. Chuck McDonough. Thumbs up. Awesome. Ron Hare. Good. By the way, speaking of thumbs up, before we get into the meat of it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're just kicking in, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to give a thumbs up while you're on here. We only have four thumbs ups and 31 people watching. Some of you are probably having lunch. I'm going to have lunch after I'm done. What are you having for lunch today? I'm curious. What do other people eat for lunch? Um, let's see. Elazar. Oops, I got to go to the, I got to grab the iPad. I'm missing comments. You guys are hot and heavy on comments today. Um... Let's see, Ron here says, good. Elizar Ponce, uh, what's up, Rob? Good morning. Good morning to you. We're approaching almost afternoon here. Tim says, clear. Ted says, good in Illinois. Tyler, hi, Rob. How are you doing today? It looks good. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Uh, SOR Jeeps, thumbs up. Tim says, sounds great. Tim gave three thumbs ups. Um, we got eight thumbs ups and 37 bodies. Come on, man. Uh, Tyler the Gamer, I've been subscribed for a while now to your channel. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that greatly. And again, if you're not subscribed and you're on here, please click that subscribe button. Kevin, double thumbs up. Ella, Elazar, Eli, Eliazar. I'm going with Elazar. Sorry if I got it wrong. Um, Elazar says, I lost you. Rob, should I lift my 23 TRD Pro or get bigger, bigger tires? I would get bigger tires first, dependent upon if you can get what you want and they don't rub given the height of the pro now. Uh, Chuck McDonough, barbecue chicken. Oh man, I'll tell you what I'm gonna have for lunch in a minute. You guys are gonna go, what? That's not good. Um, Chuck's, or Ron says, leftover hot dog. I like hot dogs. Uh, Tyler, triple thumbs up. Scott, thumbs up. Mike DeAngelis, lockers or lights? Lights. Lights. Uh, Elazar Ponce says, thanks, you are quite welcome. So let's, uh, let's get into it a little bit. Should you wait? I've been having a lot of people say that to me in the comments on the channel. Should I wait, or I, I should wait until 2025? I've been thinking about that. First of all, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I'm not waiting until 2025, unless I have to, because of a couple of things. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But I'm way too impatient to wait. And if you're like me, you probably are too impatient too. But number one, these are the reasons that people are telling me I should wait. Lower prices. Well, that's kind of a two-prong uh, line of thinking there. The market adjustments will go away. I think maybe when the 2025 first comes out, Maybe there'll be some market adjustments because the dealers will think it's a brand new. They'll add some things. Maybe they'll kick in power seats as standard, give them back to, to us. Excuse me. Um, maybe we'll have, I don't know, up, down windows, push start, whatever. You know, the little things they throw in that they take away when they come up with a new model. Uh, maybe. But prices, yeah, I do think the aftermarket uh, or market adjusted prices will go away. Uh, the only rough. I love your YouTube videos. Thank you very much. Um, they will go away, the market adjustments. Will the price come down? I cannot think of a time, maybe you guys can, in recent memory where pricing has actually decreased on any new vehicle. 
Um, I don't see that happening. At, at best, I think Toyota might leave pricing alone, leave it the same, but I can't imagine that prices are gonna go down. So we've got what we've got as far as that goes. The only thing that might change, that will change, is the market adjustments will go away. And I've even heard some dealers are doing that now. In other words, the Tacoma's not selling as quickly as they may have hoped, so they're kind of reducing the prices a little bit now. Um, so we shall see, that is a valid reason. 2025s, no market adjustments. Number two, wait until the bugs are worked out. Um, that makes a lot of sense. I guarantee there are gonna be bugs. It's a brand new redesigned truck. We know there's gonna be issues with it, right? Look at what's going on with the Tundra right now. And it's been out for, what, a couple of years? 2022, 2024, I think it was 2022. And they're having transmission problems, massive recall or TSB, because it will move when it's in neutral. How does that happen? If I was Toyota, I'd be going to my transmission builder, because I doubt they build their own, and saying, what the hell, man? How can it roll uh, or, or actually be powered? I mean, obviously, if it's in neutral, it'll roll. But they say that it will actually be powered, a powered movement while it's in neutral, like you were in drive or something. That's what's going on with the Tundra right now. Hopefully they used a different transmission in the Tacoma. We can only hope, right? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, the bugs will be worked out for the most part. I think for the first maybe couple of years, there's going to be things that come up. We shall see. Who knows? Next up, more selection. Yeah, more selection in models, trim lines, and colors. Right now, Toyota is putting out black, silver, white, and gray. That seems to be the predominant selection, although they don't really have that many colors. You know, they only have, what, the Blue Crush, Solar Octane, and the, uh, the red. I can't remember what they're calling it. And uh, I think that's about it. We have the underground color that's that better gray. I like that. I could live with the underground color. If, uh, if one of those comes available, I could do that. It's a good color. But just the gray gray, like magnetic gray metallic or whatever the other gray is, I think they have a second gray. I'm not interested in that. So there'll be more selection in the form of models and colors. Obviously, that's going to be pretty important, right? Let's, uh, let's check out some more comments before I move on to, uh, to the last point I have here. Um, let's see, where was I? Ryan Russell says, planning to eat pho. I've heard of pho because of Seinfeld, but I don't even know what it is and I've never had it. Elazar says, thanks. Tyler says, hey, Rob, I had a question for you. Uh, why is Toyota MSRP prices going down at dealerships? I have not seen that. I just talked about that. Uh, I have not noticed MSRP prices changing at all, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, Kevin, Sport or SR5? I'm leaning towards the Sport now. You know, before I had kind of changed my mind, I was going to go off-road, uh, but I'm leaning towards Sport. It's just, I love that, that setup. The only rough, I love your YouTube videos again, thank you. Tyler the Gamer, I am in Virginia Beach in the East Coast. Awesome, I have been there. Um, the only rough, what is your favorite car? Uh, early uh, 60s, maybe 70s, Chevy Chevelle. That is my favorite all-time car, with some others, of course, thrown in. Ron Hare, uh, with my 23 Sport 4x4, I get a lot of gear searching with the 6-speed. Six, six what will the 8-speed do? It will completely eliminate that. Uh, one thing I noticed, at least when I test drove the 2024 with the 8-speed, it was nice and smooth. And that was one of the predominant things about the 2024. It was a very smooth truck, both in uh, what? Drivability, acceleration, uh, just cruising, and in road feel. It felt very smooth to me. Uh, Bob Dock, new model year, especially with a refresh tech powertrain is not such a good thing. Wait and see, real world reviews with likes, dislikes, issues, just my opinion. Yeah, I agree. However, uh, when I get one, it's not an if, it's when I get one. Thanks for all the hearts I see going up there, by the way. I appreciate that. People are tapping the, the hearts on your screen there. Um, but anyway, uh, 
I want to be part of the review and experience crowd, obviously, with the YouTube channel. So that's not a negative for me. Uh, let's see. Mike DeAngelis went to a Toyota dealership Saturday. They had a 2018 Tundra TRD off-road with the 5.7, only 30,000 miles. Uh, they were asking 40 grand. I almost traded my, I almost traded on my Gladiator for it. It's a nice truck. I don't have anything against the Tundras, but uh, that that version is going to cost you with a pump. Uh, but it's massive inside. I'm assuming it was the uh, uh, double cab. Uh, they're awesome. I've had a few myself. Baseball geek. Sup, Rob? Looks nice in South Texas. It is 77 degrees with a pretty stiff wind uh, and sunshine. It is awesome. Uh, Kevin Baisden, Sport or SR5? Uh, again, the Sport for me. Russell, Ryan Russell, Pho is a Vietnamese beef noodle soup. Ah, there you go. I love beef and I love noodles. Not sure about the seasoning in it, but I bet you it is good. The only rough, what is your favorite car? I must, uh, oh, you've asked, you already asked me that. But that's okay, keep asking, comments are good. Still the Chevy Chevelle, man. Um, and there's only one reason I've never gotten one, and that's because it would be a really cool, awesome looking muscle car, but it would still be an old car, and they still feel like old cars, you know? Uh, Baseball Geek, did you hear about the Mini FJLC announced today in Japan? I did not. You know, a Mini FJ Cruiser would be kind of cool if that's what you're talking about. Um, that might be a pretty awesome vehicle. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Tyler the Gamer, my dream truck is a Toyota Tundra 2024 Capstone White. Not a bad choice either. Uh, so you don't mind the six-cylinder twin turbo then. A lot of people don't like the new Tundra because of that twin turbo setup. I had one. It was just as quick, just as capable, I think, uh, as the previous version. So a baseball geek says many. Um, many. I'm not sure if you mean the car or the uh, FJ. Nah, Russell, uh, Ryan Russell says 911. Yeah, I've had, uh, how many have I had? One, two, three Porsches before myself. And uh, my favorite was the Boxster, or Boxer. Um, it was a 2016, maybe? White, it's been on the channel, older videos, obviously. Uh, but I love that car, it was awesome. Dean Hunt says, afternoon, Rob. Dean, how you doing, buddy? Gaming King, hi. Hello, how are you? Uh, Raymond Perez, is there gonna be a fourth gen TRD Pro Hybrid? Uh, there is gonna be. It's gonna be late summer, fall is what I hear. Um, I think it may go into winter. It all depends, I suppose. Gaming King says hi. Gaming King says hi again. Hello again and again. Uh, Tyler the Gamer, today for lunch I had a leftover chicken and green beans with mashed taters. Uh, you can keep the mashed taters. I'm not a mashed potato kind of guy, but I would take the chicken and the green beans. Awesome stuff. By the way, we've got 108 people on here and only 20 people like it. I do not feel appreciated. Please go ahead and click that thumbs up. And again, if you're new or you're stopping in and you dig what you're seeing, uh, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Um, let's see, um, Tyler had the chicken, that's awesome. Gaming says, I knew. Uh, baseball Geek, I want to call your bluff. I will give you $100 if you buy a two-wheel drive sport. You will buy a four-wheel drive bet. I'm going to hold you to that, because I don't know what I'm getting for sure, but that will be in my mind. And uh, Baseball Geek, I have a cash app on the link tree on the channel. I'll be expecting that 100 bucks from you, buddy, if it happens. Game King 300 says I subscribe. There you go. I appreciate that. I do. I thank you very much for it. Again, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that when I do these impromptu, and today is an impromptu uh, live stream, uh, you don't miss out if you're interested. I don't know why you wouldn't be. I think I'm interesting. I might be a bit conceited, too. I don't know. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Baseball geek, laughing out loud like a like an hysterious hysterious hysterical madman. Um, uh, let's see. Jared says I would wait until you get a test drive on the hybrid before making a decision. No, my plan is to go ahead and buy the four cylinder turbo. I like it, 
and then switch over to the hybrid at some point after that. And if you do watch the channel and you're subscribed, you know how I am. That probably won't be long because I have mental problems, I think, when it comes to buying new vehicles. Um, let's see, Tyler the Gamer says, 21 likes so far, Rob. We have 22 likes and 108 people. It's the light, it look, this, okay. Um, <laughs> Gaming King says, you're welcome. Uh, thank you again. Baseball Geek says, you got it. I'm gonna hold you to it, man. Don't make a bet. We have 110 witnesses that you bet me that I would not get a two-wheel drive sport. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of insider information. I'm leaning that way already. So, might not have been such a good bet for you. I don't know. Uh, the Only Rough says, my favorite car is a Ferrari or Lamborghini. I have been fortunate enough to drive both Lamborghini Diablo and Ferrari, the California Convertible Edition. And they are fun, they are fast, and they catch the eye. But man, they are not comfortable. You got to kind of shoehorn yourself into them. You can't see anything out of the Lamborghini. Out of the Ferrari you can, because, you know, it's a convertible, if the top's down. Uh, fun to drive, uh, but I don't know if I would ever have one, assuming I ever had the means to have one, you know. Um, let's see, Megan Delcana. Hi. Hey, Megan, how are you? Megan, have you subscribed to the channel? Have you? Have you given me a thumbs up? I mean, come on, Megan. Um, <laughs> Dean Hunt says, just gave you a thumbs up. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. Uh, Kevin Basden, hey Rob, where can I get the model Tacoma from? Uh, there is a link on any recent video. I'm not sure if it shows, I think it shows up in this one in the bottom. It's an Amazon link, you can get it there. Um, if not, just look at my latest regular, last regular video, and there's a link there too where you can pick them up if you're interested. Um, I'm going to show you this one a little more close up in a second. Uh, let's see, Tyler James Tommy 12. Hi. How you doing, Tyler? Good to have you here. Uh, Tyler the Gamer, he's a question. I don't know what he's questioning. Uh, Brand 700, did I miss uh, Porsche talk? No, I mean, I'm, that's not the point of the channel. I've had Porsches, I like them. Uh, I do not have one now. Uh, would I ever have one again? I don't know. Um, buy them used, by the way. I've never had a new Porsche. Buy them used from CarMax. You'll save yourself about 30 grand. Um, roughly, and uh, there's nothing wrong with them. People don't drive them. They have no miles. They're like brand new, and you'll save a boatload. Um, Tyler the Gamer, they are making it in 2025. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it might bleed over into, I don't know. Gaming King says, do you play games? Only mental games. I do not play video games. That's, honestly, it's, it's after my time. Uh, I've tried to play video games. They're just not realistic enough for me. If I'm going to play a video game, I want instant movement, kind of like acceleration with the Toyota Tacoma, right? When I hit the gas pedal, the accelerator, I want it to go. When I play a video game, I don't want any pauses, hesitation. I want everything as real as possible, and it's just not there for me. Although it's been a while since I, I opened one up. Um, Dean Hustler says, hi, I'm new. Dean, welcome to the channel. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, the only rough. I've been able to sit in Lando Norris' car, not the F1 car, his car that he drives on the motorway. Um, I don't even know what he drives. I know the name. He, he's an F1. I think you said he's an F1. Uh, yeah, he's an F1 driver. My wife is big into F1 racing, so I watch it too. Uh, but I don't know what he drives. Is it a McLaren? I've driven the McLaren too. Three different versions, by the way. Oh my God. Um, let's see. Uh, Gaming King, he's laughing hysterically. Can't hardly help himself. Um, let's see. Raymond Perez. Hey, Rob, say you trade in your amazing electric truck for the new Tacoma. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to regret it, would you go back to a third gen? Probably. Probably not. Uh, probably. I don't know. It would depend on how much I didn't like it, I guess. Um, 
Let's see. Are you going to take anything off your Tacoma before trading it in? Yes. Yes, definitely. I have made the mistake before of letting mods go and then I rebuy some of the ones I'm, I like and I'm like, why the hell are you doing that, you, you doofus? I mean, you already own these. And you don't get any more for trucks when you trade them in. The dealership would rather have a bone stock truck because it's more appealing to more people. You know, a lot of people may not like the sport bar that's on this truck, so they wouldn't buy it. Dealer doesn't have that problem if there's no sport bar on the truck, for example. Uh, but definitely, yes. Uh, Gaming King says, okay, Baseball Geek. Rob, does the TRD off-road have start-stop? I hope not. Oh, yes. It's on all of them now. Not mine now, but on the new ones. Um, Tyler the Gamer, have a great day, Rob. See you in the next stream. Tyler, thanks for being on. I appreciate it. And if you haven't, on your way out, click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Um... Let's see, Kevin Wagner, is Toyota coming out with a small truck? There's rumor that they're gonna put out a truck called the Stout. Um, I don't know if that's just rumor or not. I, I don't know. It depends on how the, the micro or mini truck market continues. If they continue to do well, Toyota's gotta jump in. They'll have no choice. Uh, Army Nation, all my vehicles are Toyotas. I have a 93 Toyota 4Runner, 4x4 stick, awesome. I love to keep it, but don't know if I should, thoughts. Why wouldn't you? I assume it's paid for, as long as it's mechanically sound. Uh, I don't know why you'd get rid of it, unless you want something new. I mean, I'm a bad one to ask, because for me, yeah, I'd probably get rid of it, because I can't stand myself. The only rough says a McLaren. There you go. I've driven the P1, and I've driven uh, two other models in the McLaren line. The ultimate. It's, it's the ultimate. Um, the only rough says it was cool. They are cool. My mom says Gaming King won't let me go live. Um, well, you need to listen to your mother. I'm sure she has good reason. Army Nation says, we have a new forerunner now. Oh, well, then I don't, do you need the other one? I mean, I probably would have traded it with a new one to reduce the cost a little bit. That's what I do. Uh, what the heck? What the heck? Uh, God bless burritos. I don't like burritos. Uh, Tyler the Gamer, triple thumbed up. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. We're up to 23 likes and 121 people on here. Somebody's letting me down. Um, <laughs> KG says, I'm a Wrangler guy. Well, me too. I'm a Wrangler guy too. What can I say? Love that Jeep Wrangler. Are you a two-door or a four-door? Manual or automatic? Um, what the heck says, put a five-liter V8 Coyote engine in the Toyota. Yeah. By the time you got done doing that, expense-wise, you might as well just buy something with a, a, a five-liter V8 in it. Ryan O says, how's the cabin size uh, of your Tacoma? Um, compared to what? It's medium, I guess. Um, what the heck says, Toyota just released a 10K truck overseas. Well, I guess that's good if you live overseas. Uh, Army Nation says, thanks for the response. Hey, anytime. I'm always willing to give my opinion. <laughs> um, Christopher Garachi. Hi, Rob. It's Christopher from Seattle. Christopher. Yes. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, Raymond Perez says, Rob, in Latin America, they have the Toyota Hilux. Uh, have you driven it or have knowledge of it? I have never driven one. However, in Texas, deep south Texas, we have Helix or Hilux, however you pronounce it, across the border. I have seen several here in south Texas. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, with the Tacoma, I don't know that you really, you know, why go to the Hilux? I, I don't know. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. I know a lot of people like them because some of them, I don't know if they all do or not. I'm not that familiar with them, but they have a diesel. And you know, people love their diesels. I'm not a diesel guy myself, but you know, I get it. Um, two plus two equals five, no. <laughs> Hello guys, I need $25, can someone help me? Uh, you're in the wrong spot for that. That's not what we're about here. See ya! Uh, Hawaira Tespa, uh, a bunch of thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna get to, I've kind of forgotten. We're going to get to the last uh, reason to wait until 2025 to buy the Toyota Tacoma in just a second. It's been a lot of comments. You guys are, this is great. Um, let's see. Uh, Gaming King says, because of child predators. Hey, she's right, man. I, uh, kudos to your mom. 
uh, for keeping you off of lives. That's, uh, that's a concern. The only thing I would say to that is, is you should ask your mother if you can go live while she sits there with you and filters or reads the comments that come in. I think that's fair. That's a good way for her to let you do that and be a part of it herself. That's the only way. I don't know how old you are, but I assume you're a, a deeply or well underage, I guess. Uh, Jason Liskey, I am hungry for a taco. There you go. Um, <laughs> let's see. KG says two-door YJ, four-door JL, 3.0 diesel. Both are awesome. Um, Clyde says new Land Cruiser or Lexus GX. Uh, Toyota Tacoma. Uh, let's see. Clyde says new Land Cruiser. I read that. Jason says I want the iForce Max Taco. Yeah, you and a lot of people. That's that's something else that folks have. Uh, told me I should wait for with the new Tacoma. So that, that's really a fifth reason, I guess, to wait for the, the 2025 because you assume that that engine will be out. Uh, Christopher, shortly the Tacoma Sport will be coming in solar octane. I uh, think you like that color. I do like that color. I like the uh, Blue Crush as well and also the underground color. I do like that. Um, could even be tempted to go white. I hate to say it but for the Stormtrooper look. I think that's an awesome look, and it looks really good on the Tacoma, too. Uh, YA Blue, do you expect Fifth, uh, fifth Forerunner uh, value to go up after they release the new one with the turbocharged motor? If you find the right buyer and somebody that really wants one, sure. Will it go up overall in the general market? There's so many of them out there. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, what the heck says burritos are better, Jason? Uh, no, no burritos. No, no. Chiefs fan. Hey, Chiefs fan. Awesome. Uh, I subbed. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. By the way, got to give another shout out to myself. Uh, please click that subscribe button. If you're on here, maybe you just came across this or something. You dig what you're watching. You're still here, so I think you probably do. Click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up too, man. Um... DB says, when's the last time you did a mod? This is becoming the Should I Buy the 2024 Tacoma channel. This is the channel that's done the way I prefer it to be done. You see? Um, so I do mods when I want and I talk when I want. That's just the way it is. That's part of the freedom of being your own boss and having your own channel, right? Um, Let's see, uh, man, I've lost myself. Gaming King says, I only have uh, full wheels. I only have full wheels. Well, that's good, you wouldn't want empty wheels. Uh, Gaming King, and both sea and boats and jet skis. I think you meant you only have four wheelers, I guess, or four wheel drives. Uh, Jason, I've been thinking about a manual again. Yeah, I, I, I miss the manual occasionally. You know, I had a 2020, 2020, 2020. A 2020 voodoo blue with the manual transmission but man the Tacoma manual really did suck it was notchy clunky I didn't like it uh, some people do preference I guess I would be curious to drive a new 2024 manual because they're still available just to see if Toyota improved it at all or if they still have the same transmission wouldn't that suck and I bet they do I bet they do um, let's see um, Raymond Perez, is the new Forerunner going to have the face look of the new Tacoma? Probably. Toyota likes to keep the same general appearance uh, between their vehicles, so I wouldn't be surprised. What the heck says, Toyota IMVO is the 10,000K truck just released in December. Awesome. Mike W, have you heard of the dreaded timing cover leak on the third gen V6? Very expensive to fix out of warranty. Should I trade my 17 for a 2024? If you own the 17, it can't be as expensive to fix that leak as it is to fix it and keep the truck and not pay the money for the 2024. I'm just saying. Uh, but if you don't have the money, uh, it's probably not a bad idea. Beer Burham. Uh, why did you get the Silverado? Why you didn't get the Silverado? I didn't like it. Uh, KG says, Taco was built around mid-level luxury. I prefer Hilux for minimization. You're going to have it with that truck. Reminds me of the old Ford, the real old Ford uh, uh, Rangers. Very minimalist, very basic, not much in them, and that's what I think the Hilux would be. It's probably better than that. 
Gaming King, do you like the Dodgers? I'm not a baseball fan overall. Ahmed, ah, fuck, fuck you, fuck eek. I'm sorry, I tried. Uh, what is this? This is a live stream. Uh, topic is Toyota Tacoma under the channel name Rob Motive. By the way, click the subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, Mario Navarrete, uh, Navarrete. Why are people asking Forerunner questions? Rob has already expressed he is not interested in the Forerunner. It's okay. I don't mind giving my opinion. Like I said, I'll give my opinion on anything. Go ahead, ask me anything, as long as it's clean, legal, and not distasteful. That I will just block you for. Um, Jason says, I like the Wrangler manual transmission better for sure. I have owned one. Uh, yeah, I've heard the manual in the Wrangler is better, smoother. So, probably so. Chuck says, uh, I haven't seen any new Tacomas at any dealerships in Lancaster, PA. It's probably because they're going out as soon as they come in. I imagine in Lancaster, which is a decent sized town, I think, bigger than where I live, uh, they're probably coming in. Tim says, just listening, can't comment, busy working, good taco conversations. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. What the heck? Would you consider a five liter V8 in a Tacoma? Hell yes. <laughs> now, I wouldn't pay $150,000 for it, which is, you know, it probably wouldn't be that much, but it would be way more money than I would spend. Uh, Mario, thumbs up, KB Barbecue. Sauce or no sauce on ribs? You gotta have sauce, but light. I don't like a lot of sauce. You know, I'm one of those weird food eaters. I don't like drippy, wet food. Yeah, so if you pick it up and the sauce is all over you and dripping all, that just grosses me out. That's why I don't eat sandwiches. I don't eat sandwiches, by the way. Not in the traditional way. Uh, Gaming King says, do you like Dodge trucks? Um, did I miss something you must have said? Oh, you said Dodgers. Uh, Dodge trucks. There is no more Dodge truck. You mean the old trucks? Are you talking about Rams? I like Rams, yes. I would buy a Ram over anything other than a Tundra at this point. Uh, Ahmed says, uh, okay, here we go. It's Alpha Key. Alpha Key. Don't mess again. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm sorry. I tried. Uh, Crossy says, what is your opinion on the pre runner, desert runner look on the tacos? I like it. I had a pre runner a long time ago, and uh, I like it. Um, Bring it on, man. Uh, Gaming King says, my dad has one. Ah, he has good taste. Jason says, you need a trail hunter. I like the trail hunter, but honestly, I am probably not willing to pay what they're going to charge for it. So it's probably out. All right, before we sign off, I've been on here longer than I expected. I really started this live stream to do a test. Uh, let's get to the last thing. Pick up a used 2024 Toyota Tacoma in 2025. That's another reason to wait until 2025 to buy the new Tacoma. When I said that, I wasn't necessarily meaning you have to buy a 2025 Tacoma. Wait until 2025 and then pick up a used. You're gonna save a heck of a lot of money in the form of no market adjustment and a reduced cost because they're going to be lower because they're used. You're also gonna have a tested and fixed truck. <laughs> Excuse me, assuming the previous owner actually takes it in for any TSBs or recalls that it's probably going to have. That's another reason to wait until 2025 for the Toyota Tacoma. Let me catch up on the comments and then we're going to call it a day. Um, let's see. You need a trail hunter, Hugh Rection. Who'd you? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's very uh, uh, creative of you. Uh, but anyway, assuming you're a real person and not just a three-year-old on here for kicks, hello. Uh, Detroit Rivermaster, any thoughts on a good used truck for a first-time owner? I just bought my first boat last season, and I'm looking for a decent truck. I'm liking the channel, new sub. Thank you for the subscription. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed and you've been on here the whole time, why haven't you subscribed? Please click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up before we get off of here. Um, good used truck, Toyota Tacoma. You can't beat a good Toyota Tacoma. Anything else you get out there, probably going to have issues. Not with a Toyota Tacoma. Um, let's see. Chuck says, uh, triple thumbs up. I really like the channel, and I love that you say that. Thank you. You know, it's always a struggle as a YouTuber knowing if you're putting out things that people actually like. Uh, so I appreciate the feedback. Ahmed says, uh, now you said it right. Thumbs up. Cheers for you. Thank you. Uh, Brand 700, Rob, would you be in the running for a Tacoma X-Runner if it is offered? No. 
I'm not a big fan of that truck. I've seen it. I don't like all the stuck on body crap. It's too low. It's if it's your thing, that's okay. It's not my thing. I'm, I don't, I don't dig it, man. Uh, Regan power. Can you make me mod? No, I absolutely cannot. Uh, Jason third gen 16 to 17 wasn't reliable. Wait until 2026. Some people have been saying that there's no way I'm going to be able to, to I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's no way I'm going to be able to wait. It's just not going to happen. Um, Mario, I'd rather buy a new 25 Tacoma rather than a used 24 to possibly get one that may have any issues fixed. I'd rather buy a new as opposed to, well, that's, that's the decision you have to make, right? Uh, Game King 300, you should get a Dodge Charger. I like those, but there's no market for them for me. Uh, in the form of what I do for a living, which is this, YouTube. But I, I do like them. Uh, Walter, do you miss your Voodoo Blue Tacoma? Yes, all the time. I love that, the, the color. I miss the color. And the stance. That truck just looked aggressive, man. Well, what the heck. Uh, Yo, Detroit, get a 2011 through 2014 FJ or F-150 5-liter V8 only. I'm not a big Ford fan. I've had some F-150s. Both of them had problems, so I, I can't agree. But uh, Kay Angeline Franklin, watching from Indiana. Welcome. Uh, I used to live in Ohio before moving down here to South Texas. Uh, Detroit Rivermaster. Taco is definitely the dream in the long run. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the best out there. It really is. Reagan says, do you like uh, MP1? MP1. I don't know if you're talking about the video format, the, uh, not the video format, the music format. I don't know what you're getting at. I don't know what you mean by MP1. Uh, Detroit Rivermaster. I appreciate it. What the heck? I'm going to take a look today. Awesome. And we have reached the end of the comments, so I am going to call it a day. Again, if you're going to get off, well, you're going to have to get off because I won't be here. Would be cool if you get a Hellcat. I like them. Snow plow on the new taco or the extreme rake on the ranger. Uh, no, I will be getting rid of the snow plow on the front. Reagan says uh, McLaren P1. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I like it. I've driven one. They're awesome, awesome cars. Anyway, I appreciate everybody being on here. Please click that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't before. I'd really appreciate it. And the thumbs up. That helps out the videos. We will see you Wednesday. The next live stream, unless I pop up again, uh, will be on Wednesday. So make sure you click that notification bell if you find this interesting at all uh, so that I can see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks again. Have a great day, and I hope your, your Monday goes well. Bye.